The Art Walk Carlsbad is back for its fourth year. Bo Ferdig joins us from Carlsbad, giving us a look. And we, so far, we've seen some beautiful works of art, Bo. Yeah. Hey, Bo. Yeah, good morning, guys. That's right. Speaking beautiful pieces of art, look at this view right here, right, of the Pacific Ocean. You can't get much better. Kurt, you planned this well, my friend. The fourth year, what's unique about this event other than the view? Yeah, we planned this view out <laughs> years in advance. <laughs> right. But, uh, yeah, we're just starting to unload here, get ready for today. We have 150 artists coming in, and uh, we start at 11 o'clock uh, today and um, 10 o'clock tomorrow. And you can come see and meet and mingle with uh, these amazing artists. Family, free event, kids walk, live entertainment, food trucks, a little bit of everything. Absolutely, a little bit of everything. It's a true full-on festival. Uh, amazing uh, live music, both days. And then really, the, the key is is the being able to kind of uh, meet the artists too, talk to them, find out what inspires them, why they do the specific kind of art that they do. Right. And then uh, hopefully you bring something home with you. Yeah, right. Where can people park? Parking is right here, so you actually come up right above the flower fields in Carlsbad. We're on Armada Drive, and then there's parking lots right directly uh, at the venue. All right. Thank you, Kurt. Appreciate it. Speaking of inspiration, we talked to Svetlana in our last hit. What inspired her was whatever made her happy. We're now joined by Rebecca Robb, and what inspires her, it brings her back to her childhood days, the nostalgia. Right, Rebecca? Absolutely. Uh, growing up, I we traveled around a lot. Every few years moved to a different country so I never really had like a home like a house to become attached to so I became attached to nature and so that's what brings me peace brings me happiness and brings me nostalgia so that's why I paint it and Rebecca is the bravest person here all I can look at is her white jacket so close to this oil painting but what makes oil painting unique and maybe some misconceptions about oil painting that people aren't aware of yeah I think most people are intimidated by oils not so much because of the medium itself but because of all of the um, products that accompany it. Um, it's actually a very forgiving medium. You can work with it a lo much longer than acrylics and watercolors, and you can manipulate it a little bit more. But now they make water mixable oil paints, so if you're interested that? in trying it out, right. just grab a little water and yeah. get started. And what has inspired this piece, and how long has it taken, and uh, are we going to do this live? Is, is that something we're going to finish here? I have been working on this for maybe half an hour now, okay. so uh, hopefully, I mean, I usually like to paint wet on wet. I don't like my art, my my paintings to dry in between the painting sessions, so I'm doing my best. Okay, right on. <laughs> and talk about some of your other pieces as well. Yeah, so I'm, I'm known for my seascapes, landscapes, and animals. I love to paint animals as well. Animals are part of, like, my childhood nostalgia growing yeah. up in different countries. I spent three years volunteering in Africa, so I love the African wildlife, so I paint that as well. And I think, you know, um, animals sometimes can be underappreciated, uh, especially certain right. specific ones. So I love to paint, um, paint them, bring awareness, and just, you know, connect the love of art with animals. Um, sometimes people don't expect to want an animal hanging on the wall, but then they see it rendered in a certain way, and they're like, oh, I love that piece, you know. So that's my job to, you know, make, make, make the, the viewer love a piece. Of course. And then other than coming here and visiting you in person where can people find your work so I have a website Rebecca Rob I also have social media at Rebecca Rob and yes I've got all my contact information there and do you have a favorite piece out of all these oh. pieces I'm sure I know it's asking you like which is your favorite I kid but favorite. right now in this moment um, I really love rowboat the large one there with the boat that's one of my personal favorites um, yes that of here of the originals here that's my favorite. And do we have a title for any of these? Um, Sienna Sands. Okay. Rowboat. And then this one doesn't have a title yet, but you can help me if you'd like. Um, we're going to call this Blissful Paradise. What do you yeah. say about that? You could yeah. send us some, <laughs> some uh, ideas, but for now, Blissful yes. Paradise, even though there's no trees. But when I think of the beach, I think of bliss and peace and tranquility yes absolutely that's what it's for yeah. yeah and that's and that's what art is so amazing that's why it's so awesome because it's all in the eye of the beholder and to me this is what creates bliss come out and enjoy over 150 artists live music free entertainment and so much more here at the fourth annual carlsbad art walk back to you guys at the desk very inspiring Do you have a title for the painting any suggestion i liked bows i did too
Yeah. It's that beautiful beachscape. It is. I wonder, though, if it's hard for her to let go of some of her favorite pieces. I know some Ooh, of these art pieces are for sale, question. but they mean so much to these artists. They yeah. put their time and love and effort into the, making them beautiful. Yeah. Is it hard to get rid of some of these pieces after, you know, pouring your sweat so? and tears <laughs> and, and to get, yeah, to sell? Um, you know, some pieces, it's, it's, it's hard to tell because some pieces that I might paint and I might not personally be so attached to or excited right. about will sell right away. And then another piece that I love will hang on a little while, but then I don't mind because I get to look at it longer. Because <laughs> in the end, I mean, that's why you're doing it, yes, for others. Absolutely, absolutely, okay. yes. And it's always so heartwarming to see somebody just become so attached to a piece, love it, appreciate it, and want it on their walls. That's yeah. like, you know, yeah, a moment for me. It's a win-win all around. It is, yes. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you. Yeah, we'll send it back to you guys. All right. Her work is beautiful. You know what I might call that painting? What? Called out sick today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the beach. All right. Thanks, Bo. I like it, Jason.